What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol BBIG for Vinco Ventures. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We've talked about it extensively over the past couple of days here, and the pullback has certainly been a little bit more aggressive than what we would have liked to see. We'll talk about why in just a second here, but also the pullback in the broader marketplace right now is certainly not helping the case for BBIG to flip bullish for some you know random reason here. It's not going to happen by accident, essentially, is what I'm getting at. Now, why is this more bearish than what we would have liked to see? Well, ideally, this was going to be your support around 429. Why was that? Well, it was the prior breakout. You can see it resisted here once we were above, a little bit of support there, and we're now underneath that level, and you can see it was also acting as resistance on today's session. So not really ideal from that perspective. We're underneath the daily 200 SMA, not really that bullish as well. And if we take out the Fibonacci, from the low of the move all the way to the top of the move here, notice that we're firmly underneath now the 38.2, which was very close to your 429 level. So those three things alone are sort of leading me to believe that, hey, this is getting a little bit more uh, than just healthy consolidation, healthy bull flag, you know, uh, digestion of the move. It's starting to become a meaningful pullback here. Now, don't get me wrong. We are at the 50% mark. We're supporting at this prior set of highs right around in here, prior support. Yes, we have all that, but in the post market, we're actually gapping lower. So let me clean that that up. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. If I just zoom in a little bit, what you'll notice is that we are significantly lower. It's very likely that we open on a gap down for tomorrow's session, but please keep in mind a lot can happen between now and 930 when the bell actually rings. So we of course want to know where the overnight low is. We want to know where the forecasted opening print is. And while we're at it, we may as well pop in there today's low of day for the gap fill trade. Let's turn this back off and eliminate some distractions there, and we'll discuss the scenarios over here on the daily time frame chart. The gap and trap is always scenario number one whenever you're dealing with a gap, could be in either direction. In the case of a gap down, what it looks like is opening here, failing to attract new sellers under the overnight low, trading long back up through the open to close the gap from 364 up to roughly 385. About a, uh, excuse me, 20 cent trade, not 10 cent, 20 cent trade here on a sub $4 stock. Hey, maybe that's something worth trading for, uh, noting that that's, you know, not the worst in terms of percentage gain. After that, your next target would be that level we discussed at 430, obviously increasing, uh, you know, the amount of profit on the table there if it ultimately unfolds. Now, is that a likely scenario? I would start to argue probably not just based on everything we've discussed so far and how it is sort of positioned in a bearish nature. Also with the broader marketplace pulling back aggressively and also opening on a gap down, I'm not entirely sure that BBIG is just going to magically buck the major market trends and make a run up towards those highs closer to $5. So the gist of today's video, the pullback is starting to become a little bit more than just healthy consolidation. Keep that on your radar and also monitor this gap at tomorrow's open to determine, okay, are we going to get back? up inside of here? Can we continue to just put in consolidation in this area? Maybe there's a break in the future would really require some reevaluation. Or is this thing just going to fall off your radar if it continues to move lower and not fill the gap at all? That's all I've got for you inside of BBIG. If you enjoyed the video today or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.